हेलो नमस्कार वेलकम टू बनमस्का मैं कहानियों का सौदागर और आज फिर एक नया सौदा लाया हूँ कहानी के तौर पर सौदा है तो लेन देन तो होगा ही मैं आपको दूंगा एक कहानी और बदले में लूंगा आपसे आपका वक्त कहानी के चलते चलते आपको एहसास तो हो ही जाएगा कि सौदा फायदे का रहा The production manager Wahid and two native crew members were present at the Tehran airport to receive the first Indian film crew in a long time. Abha was simply glad to be there and hopeful that she would meet Noshir. The chances of which were close to being a miracle, but she believed in taking chances and in miracles too. It was but only a chance that Noshir and Abha had met in Panjgani just out of the blue. On their way to the hotel, Abha narrated further to Sarika. Noshir was miffed with my mother for lying to him about my engagement. I told him I had left them and was living on my own. He jumped to inviting me to live with him and Grana at Panjgani. The offer was tempting but my livelihood and modeling career was in Bombay. You could keep traveling as in when Panjgani isn't that far from Bombay. Noshir reasoned. but i have to constantly be in touch with the people there and if my presence isn't felt in the industry i don't stand a chance abha giving her side of the reasoning added i am giving auditions for films as well i need to be in bombay nosher took a deep sigh fine so we could talk once a week or maybe a month or let's see how it works nosher was definitely not very happy nor was i but he couldn't leave grana and i couldn't leave my career noshir christine and their gang were on their way to the elbers mountain they were stranded at the bus station in the middle of nowhere waiting for a bus to arrive the bus station was nothing more than a small shop the owner of which was also not sure of the arrival time of the bus he doubled up as a shopkeeper and a ticket seller Christine and Nosher sat on the only bench placed beside the shop while Vasu was busy capturing the beautiful landscape. Anish tried hard to work on the script as Sutantu was busy trying to make him believe that there was something going on between Nosher and Christine. Look at the way they look at each other. The eyes, Sutantu told Anish. Anish ignored. They are in love. Who wouldn't be? See around you. Anish turned around looking at the empty terrain and asked Sutantu Look at what we are in the middle of nowhere almost lost the bus which we were supposed to be taking to Mount Albrus is nowhere in sight and hey look even the shopkeeper is closing business and moving away that shall leave us all alone here in this hollow of emptiness where is the love Sutantu points out at Nosher who is holding Christine's hand between his palms and says there holding christine's cold hand in his equally cold palms nosher narrated further it was like a game i held abha's hand and asked a stupid riddle which never had any sure answer and then i said you have to ask to answer this the hands would always be a part of the riddle like an island or a river or something it was her last day at panjgani and she reminded me of this game She wanted me to ask the same riddle but instead of a few hours ask for a lifetime to solve it. It was getting difficult to go our separate ways. Grana saw it clearly and insisted that I leave her and go with Abha to Bombay. But I stayed back and Abha left for Bombay. One year we tried the not so long distance relationship. But after a few months she got busy with her shoots and I with the homestay. I turned Grana's home to a homestay. It gave a meaning to my otherwise aimless life and backed up Grana with some cash inflow to maintain the property by herself. She refused to take any further help from dad. If he can't give me his time and love, I don't want his mercy and pity. Is what Grana said and believed. I realized I had no goals in life till of course the homestay started being abuzz with travelers from different parts of the world. a parsi homestay with authentic parsi cuisine antiques all around 
and an old parsi charming lady to share her glorious good old days stories what else would a traveler ask for aba and i would talk over a trunk call once in 15 days which became once a month and then 6 months it had been 6 months we hadn't talked or met each other aba narrated to sarika and one fine day i visited panjgani to surprise nosher but instead he surprised me he had left for bombay the same morning i reached he is crazy he sat in a return bus to panjgani and reached late night meanwhile i got the whole day to spend with grand nosher loves you very much there is not a single day when he doesn't mention you grana held my hand and spoke but his parents will never agree for the relationship they are very much staunch they are dumb actually they don't know to change with times and frankly they don't have the eye to see the love in nosher's eyes for you my heart fluttered for a moment at the feeling of never being able to marry nosher and another moment at the fact of grana mentioning his love for me you both are 21 you can easily do a court marriage and no one can stop you from that but before that be sure be sure of each other confused i asked grana how can i do that grana be sure close your eyes and imagine is this the person you would want to be with for the rest of your life even when the glory of love and the shine of your face dwindles with age closing my eyes with her hand grana said is this the person you would like to see brushing his teeth every single morning in his pajamas and wouldn't mind doing the same in front of him is this the person you would willingly choose for anything else in the world i opened my eyes and just when i was about to say yes i saw nosher standing there his twinkling eyes full of love grana patted me on my shoulders hinting to go meet him i ran into his arms and blabbered in his ears i i want to see you brush your teeth for every single morning and i am fine with pajamas i don't mind if you watch me brush i want to be with you for the rest of my life even when the glory of love and the shine of our faces dwindle with age looking into nosher's eyes i said i would willingly choose you for anything anything in this world nosher was completely taken aback he had no idea what i was blabbering but he knew exactly how to reciprocate he sealed my blabbering lips with his and while grana must have had a view to watch we happily and shamelessly expressed ourselves the bus never came but finally the silence of the terrain was broken by a truck and the truck driver was gracious enough to give them a ride to their destination Christine was excited because she had never had a truck ride like that before. She almost was about to fall off her grip when Nosher held her in her arms. Sutanto was now convinced there was a scene between them and tried convincing Anish further. Just then Vasu lost his grip too and was about to fall when Nosher held him too. Anish simply looked at Sutanto and smiled. Banmaska Untold Parsi stories of love heartbreak pain grief happiness laughter tears and triumph This is the non confirming Parsi and you are listening to Banmaska Kisse kahaniyan bas Stories of a Parsi by a Parsi for the world to listen